impressions of this morning, first of all, was the energy in the room. When we came in and people who had been here last year and new people who were here, there's this feeling of um, celebration about reading, which is just so exciting to see. The best part of the day was listening to Faye Brownlee and talking about the joy of reading. I think we often get caught up in the sounds of language and learning all the little bits and pieces and we forget about the joy. What Terry and I were just talking about was the power of the teacher voice, right? The voice that speaks from the heart. So that that ability of the people we've heard today to talk about how this project has had such a visceral impact on them and their practice and the children they work with. One of the highlights for me this morning was hearing Julia, that teacher, the young teacher from Surrey, talk about as a new teacher the work and the connection she made with that young boy. I just started to sort of get emotional and think this is for all kids and this is great what we're doing. I'm so glad to be part of the project and the Comox Valley is glad to be part of the project. As we were processing that piece about the power of that individual teacher's voice and the difference that she made was how that connects with the research that Sharon shared with us about changing results yeah. because it appears in this province this is the very first time that we've indelibly made a difference for the most vulnerable kids. The more we look at things as a, as a complete team, a, a pre-K to a post-secondary, and the more chances like this we have to interact as a whole system, the better. So many teachers found such success with the students that they focused on for the changing results for young readers. Those statistics were really, really encouraging. And now I'm an ex-primary teacher, but now I'm in secondary, and I'm so encouraged that so many districts are looking at using the model of changing results for young readers and applying it to adolescents, so we'll see where that goes. What I really, really appreciate is how this project is bringing together collective wisdom from around the province. The fact that our teachers really, really know what they're doing. Some of them have such wise practice and we're bringing it together for all of the kids in BC and I think that's the most exciting piece to me. Something that stood out for me um, is continues to be the power of the group and how strong we are together and that we all have to be very vulnerable to be able to do that and it continues to resonate with me that if we are vulnerable and we do take those risks and we take them together we will be stronger. Lots of valuable ideas to share with my colleagues back home and this symposium has been really inspiring. Our team loved the opportunity to be able to collaborate with colleagues both here and then to be able to take it back to work with our district teams and having the chance to hear different people's stories was so powerful yesterday and to see how it's weaving together and we're creating something that's going to continue on this year. Every student walks into our class with a story um, and how important it is we give them the time to share their story to understand where we start the learning and how to foster curiosity and how to build a framework of inquiry around their stories. Those are the stories, those are the kids, those are the things that are happening as a result of this. The exciting part is we're in year two, we are ready. Oh yeah. To, we are ready. Yes. We're in that migratory place just before we take flight. Yeah. Just, we all know it's in the wind and we're just, we're about to take off. Yeah.